so this is a uh, Jackie's Ruda. Mira que linda. It was small before, and it's getting big. And look at all the the pods. This right here, these pods right here, when they turn, this is the flower. These pods right here, when they dry out and they turn hard, this is where the seed is. I'm like Jackie. You're gonna have enough seeds for a whole bunch of ruda. So I'm just checking out her herb garden. And you know that I love the queen of all herbs, la ruda. Magical for protection. She's still a baby. Her leaves are really small. In a few years they'll be bigger. Unless it's a variety of really small ruda. This is a, I think this is a female. So ruda comes in male, macho, male ruda, and female, embra. You can tell by the leaves. The macho leaves are, the, the male ruda leaves are a little bit different, but um, the la ruda. So the female ruda is ruled by the moon, Diana Aradia, and it has the uh, water element, while the male ruda, which you can tell by the leaves, um, is ruled by the sun and has the fire qualities to it. Ruda is known as uh, herb of grace, witchbane, uh, I think mother of herbs, I think. Uh, what else? I forgot the other names. It's used for evil eye, against evil eye, for protection, for luck, to ward off hexes, uh, black magic for cleansing and purify, purification of the home uh, and against el mal de ojo, evil eye. People put sprigs in their wallet to attract money and good fortune and open the doors for opportunities and blessings. Esta la ruda. Beautiful again, these are the flowers, la flore de la, de la ruda, that little yellow flower. And right here, this is where, when this turns brown, not now, this is where the seeds are. When they're nice and brown and hard, these are where the seeds are for La Ruda. So she can propagate it next year and have more Ruda plants. This looks like it's two plants. I think, yeah, this is two plants. I can tell. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, I see it right here. So, here's one. Yep, yeah, and here's the other one. She's got two. Make sure they're both female. Yeah, I think they're both female embras. Yeah. So La Ruda is known as a toxic plant. Do not in ingest La Ruda. Uh, this is not for ingestion. Um, keep it by your front door or a back door to attract good luck, good fortune. You see I'm touching it with my hands because I've known La Ruda. Latinos, we touch it. It's got this uh, strong aroma that only Ruda has, right? Uh, if you have never touched La Ruda or played with the Ruda, use gloves, right? You don't want this on your skin. I'm used to it, so it doesn't bother me because every Puerto Rican, every Latino, Italian Bruja, and Latin American Bruja, curanderos, espiritista, shamans, we know La Ruda, we respect La Ruda, um, and so if you've never played or touched this plant, use gloves, right, but I'm used to it, so it is toxic, do not ingest La Ruda, please, if you're pregnant, don't even touch it, right, beautiful. When Jackie first got the ruda, it was a small little plant. I'm just adding this there. And so she was cutting it down to use for spiritual work. And she was saying it's not growing fast enough. Um, I'm, I was like, Jackie, your ruda is a baby. It's, it's still a baby. You got to make sure before you propagate it that your ruda has a nice stem. See that stem right there? Este palo. This wood right here. Once you see that your ruda is like this, then you can propagate it. You can trim it down and use it for baths, right? But if you don't see that it creates this wood right here, este palo, 
and leave that ruler alone. Don't cut it because you're going to hurt it. Um, she's starting to get mature and now Jackie can use for her spiritual and magical workings. Again, Vitel Palo. Um, what do you call this? The stick, the, the stem, that woody part. That's what you want. If all you see is just little, little twigs, green little twigs like that, leave it alone. Don't cut it.